promise you'll be home in no time. <laughs> oh, don't worry. I'll feed you lots of chocolates. And there is no need to worry. Every day could be Valentine's from this day forward. <laughs> oh, seeing the despair, seeing the regret, that's so good. Good morning. <laughs> hey, come on. It's it's like basically 12 o'clock. You need to get up. It's it's the start of the day. <laughs> it's okay. I uh I got up early for you. Uh, you know, just wanted to make you a special cup of tea, just, just to help you wake up. <laughs> Especially because I, I have, I have, I have an important question to ask you. A little embarrassed, of course, but there is a certain date that's coming up, and I was thinking maybe we can do something. But, <laughs> here. Oh, come on, don't give me that. You need to get up. It's like 12 o'clock. It's like, that's that's noon. It's you know, The sun's out. The birds are chirping. Just, come on. What's the worst that can happen? It's not like I'm gonna pull you out of bed and, you know, bring you into my dungeon or anything like that. that that's not gonna happen. Probably. <laughs> but... Here, here, drink up, okay? I feel like it's going to be a long day. And I want to make sure that you get a nice morning start. How's the taste? <laughs> Is it good? I actually tried using my, um, my blossoms for flavoring this time. Um, there was a little tiny thing that I wanted to try out in it, though. Um, don't worry, uh, I don't normally use you as a test subject, but I felt like this might be a nice opportunity to do so. <laughs> well, um, I seem to have, uh, been running a little bit out of the test subjects down in the chamber, and, and with a certain holiday coming up, I thought it was the perfect time to add to my collection. <laughs> oh, why do you look so worried? You should know by now. I treat all my puppies nicely. Oh, don't worry. You're not going to be able to get anywhere anytime soon. You see, a little test subject I'm turning you into. The first thing I had you test is a little sedative, so it's going to be a little hard to move anything aside from your eyes and your brain for a while. <laughs> but it's not like you don't know who my chambers are. We've been there many a times before, oh, but I might as well make the trip a little quicker. Here. Close your eyes, open up your mouth, and say, ah. <laughs> Hopefully it's not as bitter as the tea. There you go. Good puppy. Now, just let the drowsiness happen. I promise. He'll be home in no time. <laughs> uh, this is gonna be fun.
<laughs> Is my little puppy finally awake? Oh. Yeah, I decided to have a small change of plans. I decided it wasn't fit for my special pup to be hanging around all those other nasty testing pups, you know? It's just, it's not the same. You're different than all the rest of them. You're, you're special to me. I can't even imagine them sullying the breath. The same air that you breathe makes me want to just... Uh, never mind. But I decided that it might be a better place to let you have a little more space. I'm sure you can hear by now. This isn't some dark, dreary chamber or cave. No. <laughs> I have to make sure you have space to grow and walk around so I can take you for as many walks as I desire, but not close enough to anyone that could even take a candor at your beauty. That, that being, of course, we're in the forest, <laughs> the woods behind the meadow near my shop. That way, after work, I can get all the supplies I need to make you a happy little puppy. <laughs> Don't worry, you'll have plenty of warmth. I'll bring you lots of flowers. I can dress you up. And you won't have to worry about anyone seeing you ever again. It's just us two. And it's, it's a special day coming up. It's a... It's a really special day. Of, like, of course I wanted to ask you this before you drink the tea, but I was so worried what you might say. So I guess I'll ask you this now, while you're tied up to a tree and can't move around at all. Will you... will you be my valentine? <laughs> Well, your cries aren't exactly saying no. <laughs> oh, don't worry. I'll feed you lots of chocolates. And there is no need to worry. Every day could be Valentine's from this day forward. We might be a little early, but that doesn't matter. Because if every single day is Valentine's Day, you're never really too early, right? <laughs> no. No. It's okay, I'll make sure to put your little dosage right into every little bit of chocolate. You'll be acting like a true puppy in no time. I mean, I do like calling you my fluffle. My precious little bun. Maybe I can figure out how to make a bun pup. What do you like better, doggy ears or bunny ears? Do you want bunny ears with a a doggy tail? Do you want the fears that a bunny has? Or do you want the stupidity of a dog? <laughs> There's just so many things I can do. I'm so excited. Oh, I can't wait. But to think I'll have you all to myself. I won't have to worry about if you actually left the home. Do you know how often I, I sit in my shop and just wonder, oh, are they, are they okay? Did, did they leave the house? Is, is someone looking at them? What if, what if they talk to someone? What if they, they communicate to someone that, that isn't me? <sighs> we can't have that. So here we are, in the middle of a forest. You all died up. Of course, there's 
No way you can ever get back home. No one will ever know you're even gone. I'll make sure of that. I mean, I have a wide variety of concoctions that can make people forget even about themselves. Just claim it as insomnia. If they're old, it might even be considered just to go with age. That's okay. I've noticed over the years you've talked less and less with your family. Over the years, it's just been me here talking to. Unless you've been hiding things from me, but... <laughs> you wouldn't do that. You wouldn't do that, alright? I don't... I don't think you would. <laughs> but don't worry. Don't, don't worry. You're safe here. I made sure any kind of wildlife, whether dangerous or harmless, were completely taken care of. <laughs> but don't worry, that means that you'll have plenty of food. As long as we don't give too much funny tendencies in you, you should still be able to be a carnivore. I mean, bunnies do tend to eat their young at times, despite them being herbivores, so I'm sure if push comes to shove, even if you're a little too much bunny, you'll still be able to eat what I feed you. I mean, it's either that or you starve, and people get desperate when their stomachs are empty. You should see some of the things the people in my chambers do. Oh. It's so fun putting two puppies in a small cage together and see which one the strongest is. Of course, strongest doesn't always mean physically. There are some poor puppies that think, I'm going to get out of here. Everything's going to be okay. Or even the more naive ones are more worried about the other puppy than themselves. Of course, that doesn't really matter once the starvation kicks in. Even the strongest of wills, even the kindest of hearts, they waver. <laughs> oh, seeing the despair, seeing the regret, that's so good. But we're, we're not talking about them. They're the ugly puppies. You are my precious one. You're my, my pretty puppy. The goodest of pups, the precious of buns, my little bean. You're who's kept me sane all these years, and I can't, I can't let any kind of threat exist to that. I have to, I have to keep you safe. I have to keep you here, in a place where even if you tried, of course you would never, considering how much you love me, and I love you. Even if you tried, there's no way. None? Not even a little? I mean, let's say you managed to gnaw through your leash, break through your bindings, use that bunny teeth that never stop growing if I decide to go that route and just attempt to escape. We're too deep. Only I know the way back. <laughs> I was living on my own for a really long time. I've learned things about the wilds. I know how to survive. I've done things. I've made potions. I've had workarounds. I know my in and outs anywhere around my shop, whether it be every twist and turn of the meadow, every little rock or crevice of my chambers, every potion or flower in my experimental laboratory, all of it, every secret compartment of my shop, every twist and turn of this forest. I've known it since childhood. 
That's why I built everything here. That's why everything is in this precious little spot. It's because I know it more than anyone else. No one has a chance. You have to make sure you win the game before the game even starts. <laughs> Every game I play, I know I'm gonna win. I don't leave anything up to chance anymore. As much as I love to praise RNG, as much as I love gambling, if I don't take bets that I can lose, I don't play games that have a defeat screen to them. Let's say you decided you didn't really feel like tea that morning. I had chocolates ready for you. Let's say you were feeling full from last night's dinner and you weren't feeling the chocolates. I know what time you get sleepy. I know what time you have your lunches. I know what time you rest on the couch. I know what times your mind wanders away. I know everything about you. Why would I not? You're my sole purpose in life. I know every little detail. I know every birthmark. I know every little thing about your body, about your mind. I know some things about you that you haven't even figured out yet. And when it comes down to it, even if I needed to make you come here using a little more aggressive memes, I have needles, I have concoctions, I have ways of making people concede if they've gotten a little too far into my game that I play. So, I must say, whoever walks into my laboratory, whoever tries to sneak their way into my chambers, whoever steps foot into my woods, whether there's malice or not, they've lost. There's nothing they can do. They have given up, and the terms of service of my game says, if you lose, you're mine. Ugh. That's how I came across so many puppies. That's how I lost so many puppies. Some of them are just such sore sports. If they... They never wanted to agree to the terms, if they never wanted to have the consequences of their actions, they should have never played the game. That's their own fault. But you're not like them. You're my precious puppy. Every game that I played with you, you did so with a wagging tail. You've always been the goodest of buns. My precious bean. I never had to worry about you. I never had to do anything other than just care for you. But it's gotten to the point where I can only care about you. I can't let anyone get in the way of that. Not after you've been so kind and so nice. I need to make sure I treat you right and give you all of the affection you need, all of the attention you desire. This way, you'll always be close to me, no matter if I'm working, no matter if I'm thinking about you. I could always take a five minute break and find my way over here, give my, give my puppy a treat, give some pats, maybe some scritches under the chin. Oh. Don't worry, you won't be scared forever. Whether it be Stockholm Syndrome or just my potions making you more inclined to receiving affection. You should see how many puppies will just beg for my hand to be on their head. They just want the pats, they want to be called good boys and girls. 
They'll do anything for it at this point. Oceans can do so much. They can allow me to do so many things and other than you, that's the one thing I enjoy in this life. Seeing what I can turn the human mind into. How many things I can make the human body do that it was never supposed to. People will thank me down the line. People will understand what I've done. Some may even consider me a hero. I don't care about that. I just want to have fun. I don't care what kind of revelations my experiments bring. I just want to see what the next one foretolds. I don't care if it's a failure. I don't care if it's a success. I just want to experiment. I just want to have the most fun I can, which should last a long while, considering some of the potions I've made preserve the flesh. <laughs> You'll be my puppy forever and ever and ever. You don't have to worry about Valentine's Day ever ending. You don't have to worry about a day where the day is the last day. The day that comes to your end. Your story doesn't have an end anymore. The game is on endless. There's no game over. There's no start over screen. There's no pause menu. It's just continue. An endless grind. Me creating my potions and you with my affection. I'll preserve you for as long as I need. And you'll enjoy every second of it. Now, who's ready to go for some walkies? <laughs> oh, even if you're not in the mood for it now, I'm sure in due time, you'll be begging me. <laughs> well, I'll see you again, my precious little bean. I have some potions to make. I gotta make sure you're my most precious, special bun pup. Mm -hmm.